today i will talk about friction factor calculation using kolbrook equation in fluid mechanics the kolbrook equation is used to calculate friction factor in turbulent flow regime inside a rough pipe the equation is given by 1 by root f is equal to minus 2 log epsilon by d 1 by 3.7 plus 2.51 re root of f bracket close now here f is the friction factor that epsilon is the roughness height of the pipe wall d is the diameter of the pipe re is the reynolds number now let calculate the friction factor for a specific example now given data is here pipe diameter is given 0 0.1 meters roughness height is given epsilon 0 0.0015 meters fluid density is given rho is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube dynamic viscosity mu actually given 0 0.001 kg per kg per meter second fluid velocity v is equal to 1 meter per second now how do you calculate the friction factor using this Colebrook equation means here we have to calculate f now first step one how do we calculate f first we have to calculate reynolds number reynolds number we know rho v d by mu so if we plug rho 1000 v1 and diameter 0.1 by viscosity viscosity is 0 0.001 so reynolds number is 1 into 10 to the power 6 so obviously that is turbulent flow now steps two so now here this Colebrook equation is a nonlinear equation so now we have to solve this nonlinear equation by using Newton Raphson method so it cannot be easily solved by using Newton Raphson method we can uh, get that friction factor so step two using Newton Raphson method to find out the friction factor perform iterative calculation until convergence is achieved the final friction factor is approximately 0 0.019153 rounded by 6 decimal place so uh, first uh, we have to use newton raphson method and then we can by using newton raphson method we can get that friction factor now how do you get that so now uh, we already know that kolbrook equation is a is is a nonlinear equation so we have to use Newton Raphson method to calculate friction factor. Now here, uh, the starting guess for uh, uh, that uh, friction factor is F0 0 0.02. Now we can update the guess using the formula. So we know Newton Raphson for formula. So x n plus one is equal to x n minus f of x n by f dash x n. Now here, so f n. Uh, n plus 1 f is like a we just rip plus x into small f and capital function the cap big f so f n plus 1 is equal to f n minus f a, f of small f of n f dash f, f of n now here that uh, that colbrook equation we know this is the colbrook equation so this is the nonlinear equation now we write in the functional form so f f is equal to uh, 1 by f plus so we 1 by a, 1 by root f plus this whole term so we are putting here so f of f is equal to 1 by root f plus 2 log e epsilon by d 1 by 3.7 plus 2.51 re root of f now if we do the derivative of that f of f so we will get minus 1 by 2 root f minus 2.51 2 re into root f so we continue iterating until the desired accuracy is achieved so we already uh, go, uh, know that f of capital f f or f dash f so using newton raphson method so we need that uh, first we need function form and then derivative so we already got that now if we plug all this value so we already uh, assume that f0 is equal to 0 0.02 now perform iterative calculation until the conversion is achieved so f i plus 1 so f i minus that hold uh, the ff cap, uh, capital f of small f and f dash f so we plug all this value now perform iteration one so now here f i already so uh, we are going to calculate one so f i become f0 f0 minus this so f0 is here 0 0.02 now i will plug all this value already we calculated reynolds number and epsilon value already known d also known so if we put that 
so f1 will be 0 0.019152 so after getting 0 0.019152 so that will be uh, that uh, next iteration guess value so f2 so that f1 already we got okay so 0 0.195 and then we plug all this value so f2 will be 0 0.019 153 now for iteration 3 so f2 will be the initial guess 0 0.019153 and we put all this value ultimately we get f3 is 0 0.019519153 uh, so after 3 iteration the value of f converges to approximately 0 0.19153 rounded to 6 decimal place so the friction factor f is f for this flow in this given pipe in the given pipe with roughness is approximately 0 0.019153 so using newton raphson method we can easily get that friction factor now after getting friction factor we can easily calculate pressure drop or whatever things is uh, or uh, major loss we can easily calculate so now we understood how to calculate friction factor from cold group equation that's it thank you